here at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch and Tiffany Secting joins me and we're going to talk about bongos today. Bongos, which is a kind of antelope mm -hmm. or a drum. Or a drum if you're Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But uh, the antelope that we have at the ranch mm -hmm. are considered a threatened species. There's two different kinds. The mountain bongo, there's less than a hundred of them surviving in the wild. The lowland bongo, I say there's way more. Well, there is way more, but there's less than 30,000 of them wow. surviving. And those populations are decreasing. And that's who's behind us right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little more about that. Males and females both have horns in the bongo. Now we're used to whitetail that have antlers. So antlers are lost every year but horns stay with that animal their entire life. They never lose them. If they break them, they may grow back a little bit, but they but they will never grow back the same. As they were, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. And then they have real large ears, and their ears, you can see them kind of move around. Those ears are kind of like radar. Their sense of hearing is very, very acute. Um, that's part of their protection. Another part of the protection is that they are from a dense forest area, and they can just zip and and be elusive in no time. One of their biggest threats is illegal hunting and snares. Their coloration, they're all the stripes, actually, it seems like it would make them stand out, but it actually is part of their camouflage that helps them hide in those dense forest areas. So if you're on safari and you're driving through here, you're gonna find these guys more around trees or anything that they interpret as a little more dense than the open area because of that, right? Correct, you'll see them like in those oak tree thickets mm -hmm. because that's just, even though they were born and raised over here in the States, they are still gonna congregate to those areas because that's just what gives them safety. An antelope, an antelope species mm -hmm. is similar to cattle, mm -hmm. whereas they have a ruminant digestive system. In other words, they have multi compartments and they digest their food just a little bit differently. They, they are herbivores, mm -hmm. so they eat like grass, mm -hmm. hay, and everybody gets those pellets. Those pellets are specially formulated for us. So every vehicle that comes in gets a container of them and you can get extra if you want. So do they move kind of as a family unit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are They are very gregacious. They like to be together. Okay. Yeah, and even, even you see like the big bull the, yeah, the always, biggest one, that's, yeah, that's the big boy, right? That's the big boy, that's Papa Daddy, uh -huh. yeah. And you'll always see him with with the herd. They don't kind of, they don't man, meander off. And you know, every species is different, is if the male wanders off or has bachelor herds. <laughs> but this, they like to always be together. Safety in numbers. Safety in numbers. Yes. So if you decide to come on safari here to Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, get ready because it's that time of year where you can see a lot of new babies around. For more information on Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.